Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Bundesliga Team of the Season cards today in the video a lot because yesterday they were rising in price up until the content drop, but then all of a sudden, one simple player pick pack that was actually in the store sent them crashing and prices across the whole entire Bundesliga Team of the Season are down bad. The question is, will these cards rise back up today with the Bundesliga Guaranteed SP coming out we normally do see a rise after that SBC does rise on those current impacts tots cards that are pretty meta and popular we'll talk about that in today's video and of course what else to expect today on a Wednesday in FIBA 23 specifically looking forward to the end of the week with La Liga team of the season and some of the preliminary leaks that we have for those players and also some really cool SBC content that's going to be upcoming in the next week on this game so if you're excited for the video if you think it'll help you out today drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new let's quickly go over yesterday's content because we did get a player SBC yesterday it just wasn't the one that we were hoping to see we got griffo instead of the guerrero man there are so many people that want that guerrero card for the links and everything but if this SBC gives us any clue on what they might be doing to the upcoming guerrero card yes i do still expect that SBC. that guerrero could be really cracked a massive boost for griffo high high work rates four star four star a lot of different positions that he can play as well you know what this kind of reminds me of a lot of people have been shouting this out reminds me of that cracked cali agree card from last year in fifa 20 towards the end of the year not quite the same but similar it's not that great of a card but at least ea made it cheap coming in on footbin at 48,000 coins, you really can't complain too much about that, even if he's not going to make your team, even if he's not the most meta. 48k for that is not too bad. Even for a fodder aspect, I might rinse some of my extra 83s, 84s, 85s that I have to complete that SBC when we're doing some upgrade packs later on this week, since it's only an 85 squad and a team of the season player. So that's pretty easy to get done there. Also, yesterday we had the hopeful Cristiano Ronaldo pack, right? But most of all, uh, as, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, this pack was probably the worst out of all of the guaranteed team of the season player packs. I mean, you just look at the cards that are available once again. And if you were lucky enough to hit a Romarino and Anderson Talisca, or if you were crazy lucky and hit the Ronaldo, GG's. Because there were a lot of Marcelo Grohe's yesterday, Hagazi, the Moroccan right mid, right wing. So, you know, the pack weight, of course, was not there for this SBC, but at least EA did make it pretty cheap now the real content yesterday we're going to get right into things guys there's a lot to talk about with the market today the real content was in the store and remember on the weekend and even last week we talked about the one of three bundesliga 83 plus player pick uh that we were that we saw in the pack code and i said guys at some point this is going to come out and it's going to impact prices it didn't come out during the weekend instead ea dropped it yesterday there was a lot of action in the store yesterday they refreshed the 10 coin energizer pack which i was actually lucky enough to pack julian brandt from untradeable so you see the tots counter going up that's the only new tots couple other dupes that we got like asane i packed asane out of that 60,000 coin 500 fifa point bundesliga one of three tots player pack that was tradable right and that was the big thing that really affected the market so it affected the market in the way that we thought it would it was just a surprise to actually see it in the store yesterday so with the 10 coin pack and the bundesliga player pick being out of course what did we see we saw these card prices drop like crazy and they're still dropping i have bought some diabies i bought them on stream i was buying right around here 520k and with the supply of this player pick with so many people getting on and opening it you can only do it one time which is good because if you could do it unlimited times it would have been d-day out here but it was not quite that bad you can open it one time it still has a lot of impact in the market right you can see prices were rising up this diaby was 624,000 coins yesterday in the peak of the hype before content, he was about 600k at the content drop, and he is now down all the way under 500,000 coins. One of the biggest fall offs in price yesterday is that Diaby card, and also some of these cards on the low end. Look at Lacroix. I sold two Lacroix yesterday at 85,000 coins a piece, and he went from the high to 70s, low 80s, all the way down to where he is right now 57k for Lacroix on this market it's crazy the price drop-offs that we're seeing on especially the lower tier cards that were packed 
pretty often from this player pick pack. Now, again, I wish I could show you it because it's not in my store because I actually opened it. But a lot of people were asking, where is this player pick at? It is in the store under promo packs. Uh, can you see it under ripped items? Oh, you can't. I wondered if that was like ripped packs, but it's just like, you know, some cosme cosmetic stuff. But uh, that player pick was dropped in here. And I don't know if it's going to refresh, guys. I really don't know that it is. I don't think that it will because I believe they refreshed the 500k pack yesterday. And I think last week they refreshed the 500k pack one time and then it did not come back. So I'd be surprised if that Bundesliga player pick does return. But if it does, uh, it would impact these prices a lot more. And uh, again, like we said, these prices are dropping like big time. Should you be investing? Now, I know a lot of people bought yesterday because we didn't expect the supply to keep coming in like this. And I think a lot of us didn't expect these prices to drop as low as they are. These prices are very low, right? In the grand scheme of things, Kimmich being 440,000 coins yesterday before the content drop, now being 370. These prices are very, very low, guys. It's kind of created a supply window where, man, these prices look pretty good. If that player pick does not come back and the rest of the week kind of goes as planned, if you will, some of these cards might be near their lowest today, right? It's kind of created a scenario where that's why a lot of people wanted to invest and are investing in these cards right now because they have just dropped off so much. And this, again, is one of the most cracked teams of team of the season uh, that we might see. Absolutely insane stats. And uh, we've seen so much fluctuation on these cards during the week. That makes them very popular candidates to invest. Now, the real question is, should you be buying? Will they go up? Now, I'm torn between two things here. Number one, last week, Premier League team of the season cards, we were very confident about those rising, and they just flat out didn't. You guys remember, there was a couple fluctuations here or there, but those cards were low. They would rise up a little bit. Like, I remember Bukayo Saka going from, like, 600K to, like, 640, 650, but then he went back down. And then, of course, we all know what happened on the weekend. Those cards got destroyed, right? Now, is that going to happen again with these cards? I don't rightly know. Every week is different. You just never quite know. I feel like these Bundesliga cards were more rare and less supplied, but that kind of changed yesterday, right? And, uh, and like I'm saying, I'm saying this while I have about eight to almost nine million coins in these Bundesliga Tots cards, maybe not that much, about seven, right? On my transfer list that I'm trying to flip and hoping to see some price rises on these cards. And right now I'm looking at some tax losses on a lot of these. More than that, I'm looking at like 50K loss on Diaby per card. I think I have like four or five of them uh, because I thought he was too low at 525 during the UCL game yesterday and he has now gone lower. Personally, this is what I would do. I would look to buy these cards for a short-term flip uh, and I would look to buy this specifically if it's for your team. So a short-term flip investment if you want to risk it, but more so if you want to buy one of these for your team, see this as an opportunity where, especially for a guy like a Diaby, a Kimmich, um, a Goretzka, who I think is a really, really cracked card for the stats. Alfonso Davies is catching a lot of hype as a really meta card. And compared to some of the other ones that have dropped off in price, he's dropped off in price less, which actually, to me, makes him maybe a little bit better of an investment. That means that if he's dropping off less, there's more demand there and maybe less pack supply. So for some of these cards that have dropped down, if you want to buy them for your team, I think this is a solid time to do so. Again, if you're buying for your team, you're less concerned about making coins. You're just hopefully to buy at a bit of a lower point and then they could rise a bit back up now that's the question will they rise up today i think some of these guys will rise up this morning because think about it today's weekly rewards and that always makes the market rise back up a little bit so i do believe some of these cards will rise but will they rise after the guaranteed SBC today too? That's something that we wanted to see last week with the Premier League TOTS guaranteed SBC, but it didn't quite happen out as well and as kind of, I guess, fruitful as we thought it would with the investments. So I'm a little bit leery of that um, with some of these Bundesliga team of the season cards. It could definitely happen though, because if you take a look at the Bundes, not Bundesliga, the Saudi League TOTS cards, that were packed yesterday, right? We had the guaranteed pack. We saw guys like Anderson Talishka go from 430,000 coins. He was all the way up at 470K. He's back down a little bit now. As you can see, maybe these cards are dropping as well at the moment with the uh, Bundesliga Tops cards, 420K. So he is back down. Roma Reno went from like 480 all the way up to 530. Um, and I think he's even down right now in like 480K range. So yeah, he's back down 475. But those guys, I can even show you the graph. They had really, really good fluctuations yesterday after the guaranteed SBC dropped. And that is a common trend, right? Boom, 480 kind of spiked to like 525, 30. And then kind of just settled right there at 500K and he's down a little bit now. So 
Could this happen today where we see Bundesliga top cards rising? Yes. Wow, Musiala, 184. That is a big undercut, and that is so low from where he was, right? These cards are all taking a hit. But again, I could also see by the time we get to the weekend, by the time we get to Saturday and to Sunday and to Monday, especially if the La Liga leaks really pick up and a lot of hype starts to build for La Liga team of the season, these cards could kind of start to just follow the trend of the Premier League Tots cards. And they might go up a little bit into the weekend, but then they also could start falling right back down as the, everybody's excited about the new La Liga team of the season and those sorts of cards. So that's kind of my, I guess you could say my problem right now. I like these cards because they've dropped down a lot. They've shown really good movements of the week. They could be good investments, but I even saying that having a lot of coins invested in them right now, I just don't love these cards past this morning, past more than this morning, past this afternoon or tonight, right? Past this guaranteed SBC and maybe a bit of a rise there with those cards. I just don't love these Bundesliga Tots cards because I do believe that La Liga is going to be pretty hype. So they could rise a bit tonight. They could also rise. Um, they, they could also fall after the guarantee, depending on what we get today. It's a really unknown situation. That's why I would say only buy it if you want it for your team and you want it for this weekend league with qualifications. Rivals rewards, of course, coming out tomorrow. So that's the only place that I'd be buying these cards today. And if you are invested and if you have these, hopeful, hopefully we get a nice rise today or after content. And we could take some of the coins there on some of those investments. But, you know, it may not be as lucrative as we originally thought because the supply yesterday really, really hit hard. So let's talk more about today, right? We're talking about this guaranteed Bundesliga uh, pack and the guaranteed TOTS pack for the Bundesliga, which is what we expect. Every Wednesday, the main league gets showcased in an upgrade pack. Now, last week with Prem, they made it really expensive, right? And we were all upset about how expensive the guaranteed Premier League TOTS SBC was. Will we have an opportunity today to do a Bundesliga TOTS upgrade for cheap? Now, last year, I know this may not make sense because they're not following what they did last year, uh, as we saw last week with Prem. Last year, the Bundesliga TOTS upgrade was an 85 squad with one team of the season player. But again, if you compare this team right now, 16.6 million coins in, of in turn of the total squad value, you compare that to the Premier League squad value, 16.4 million coins. Now, I know these guys have dropped off a lot, but this Bundesliga team has some really big players inside of it, right? Musiala, Nkunku, Jude Bellingham, Delict, Mane, so many players at a million coins or above or around that range. I think this SBC today might be similar to that of the Premier League of last week. It might be two squads and it might not be the 50,000 coin upgrade pack that it was last year. I think the Premier League TOTS upgrade last week was like 150 or 160,000 coins. I think it might be around that range again, which makes me think that fodder today could move a little bit more because people are still going to, we're all still going to do that upgrade pack, right? We're, we're going to do it. Like whether we have to do some upgrade packs to get it done, whether we have to, I don't know, wait and play our, wait, wait for our rivals rewards or play our qualities games to get quality rewards, to get some fodder, to get it done. We're going to be doing that pack because that's just kind of part of team of the season. You want to get a chance at packing some of those best team of the season cards. So if they're going to make it two squads, probably those players, again, in that money range, 84 to 86, like they do every single day. It's like clockwork, man. You could probably make the best coins in this game right now, bidding on 86s at night and selling them during the day. Look at Immobile, 8.8K all the way to 11.6 thousand coins yesterday for this 86 rated card. Did all these guys go to 11 and a half K? and then come right back down. They they went to about 11,000 coins per card. So maybe find some of these 86s that went up higher than others, like that Immobile went above 11K. Maybe that just means he gets in the solutions a bit more. Tiago Silva went to 10.75. Get in on some 86s today. I would say get on some bids. Get Look at a couple of these cards. Uh, stock up a few if you want to make some coins or if you just want to get ready for this guaranteed pack. These guys are probably going to have a spike today. Maybe they spike even a little bit above uh, 11K. Maybe they go to 12, right? 87s are at 11,000 coins. That's kind of why I think the 86s kind of have a, a stop there, like a ceiling there at 11,000. Um, but these guys have gotten pretty cheap tonight. So keep an eye on those. 85s, yeah, they could go up to 84s. They could go up a little bit as well. But I think 86s might be the place to go um, and, and to be, I think what, what was the Premier League one last week, like 85 and 87 or something like that. 
it really might be a similar sort of requirement today for the Bundesliga Tot. So like myself right now, I have like no fodder in the club. I'm going to go and do some upgrade packs. Um, gold rares right now, I believe, are still hovering around 850 to 900. Yeah, they're 850 expiring right now. That's huge. Making the upgrade packs really cheap. These were 950 yesterday during the day. So if you invested in gold rares, I would say if you have a lot of them and you're starting to need to get them out before we get towards the end of the week, what I would tell you to do is probably start listing these up at 950 to 1000 today. Start collecting more sales because you're going to get more sales than if you were listing at 1.1 to 1.2. And then uh, you should probably get more sales and then you can start getting those out and collecting your profits because I think now we just have to accept that these cards are probably not going anywhere above 1.2K, like just on their own because A, they're invested and they're kind of supplied as well. You see here, a lot of these cards that are listed up have multiple owners, no games played. That's an investment, right? We talk about that all the time. So that's kind of the update situation there. And also I'll talk a little bit about fodder. Fodder, seriously, guys, like that might be the best place to trade right now. The way that I'm seeing these TOTS cards now, and I've this is kind of two weeks in a row now that we've seen this fluctuation, right? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade with the TOTS cards on the weekends. Trading with these brand new team of the season cards is absolutely incredible on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But after that, the, predict the movements through the week are just unpredictable, and most oftentimes, they just kept dropping, right? This is the second week in a row now where we have the same sort of trend. I think I might, going forward into La Liga team of the season, I might just say I'm not touching any of the TOTS cards to trade with. Just from a trading perspective, throughout the whole next week, I might just say, you know what, let them be. And then I'll mess with them once again as they're maybe about to go out of packs, but then focus on maybe out of pack special cards or icons or cards that people are using like Bundesliga specials this week, I think are fluctuating a lot in price as people are playing the cup, right? So you've got periods of cards that are being panic sold there, but at the same time, you've got periods where those cards go up a lot in price as well. That just might be the safer way to do it going into the next couple of weeks on this game. And, uh, and, you know, I've lost coins two weeks in a row trying to mess around with these TOTS cards, right? So probably going to stay away from that next week. Just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because maybe you're feeling the same. I'm tired of losing some coins on TOTS cards. I feel like we make coins on the weekend, make a lot of coins on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. But then during the week, we just kind of like lose it all back. So I end up in a negative because I'm spending coins on upgrade packs. And yeah, I still have a lot of coins. I'm not complaining by any means. I know that I have a lot of coins and it is a great thing. But um, I just want to be consistent, right, during team of the season. I want to learn from the trends and always get better, right? So that's kind of just me sharing my thoughts on how I feel a little bit right now about those TOTS cards. But besides the Bundesliga team of the season guarantee today, Silver Stars should be returning and it should be a Saudi League Silver um, unless they change it up and look ahead or do something different. If you have not done this, like me, uh, try to get it done so you get the XP, get it done, get it out. And this will be the last uh, full day before we get a brand new TOTS swaps. It's not another SBC we're looking forward to once I get this done. It's kind of done and dusted, but we'll get another TOTS swap objective on uh, Thursday tomorrow, so watch out for that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in the video today is we're going to look a little bit ahead to La Liga. La Liga team of the season. We have some leaks that started to come out yesterday. Now, the players, eh, you know, there's been a couple that have been leaked, right? Um, Militao, Kunde, Pau Torres and Issy as objectives. Uh, a Carrasco flashback objective, right? Those, okay, we'll look at those. We'll talk about those in the future. Probably going to get some more leaks today. Maybe a loading screen as well. Last week on Wednesday, they dropped a loading screen for La Liga, right? And that was another thing that did not uh, help the market last week for Prem Tots cards. But this is the leak that I'm drawing a lot of attention to because this is big. Daily Icon SBCs. Yes, you heard that. Daily Icon SBCs next week during La Liga Team of the Season. Get ready for a daily release of exciting SBCs featuring existing icons that have left its mark on this league. So La Liga, right? And that is really cool. That's really cool, really hype. And there are going to be a lot of Icon SBCs upcoming, man. We started thinking about yesterday on stream... Who could EA put in as Icon SBCs? And there are so many players that have not had Icon SBCs this year that could be featured. Team of the Year Icon, David Beckham would be great, right? We joked about it like, wow, would EA put in the Prime version and not the Team of the Year? If they would do the Prime and not the Team of the Year, people would be absolutely livid, right? It is May, halfway through May on this game. Drop us some W Icon SBCs. Ronaldinho, right? Um, would be a perfect SBC to release during this. Now, I would love to get excited about Ronaldinho getting a prime card SBC, 
but I honestly think, guys, that EA would probably drop the mid, and it would be disappointing. Um, but if they dropped the prime, that would be a game-altering SBC for so many people, even if they made it like a two and a half to three million coin SBC. Fodder is so cheap right now. If they were to drop a three million coin, four million coin SBC like this, it would have to have like 30 squads and like 92 rated squads. I'm really interested to see how EA dropped these icon SBCs this next week because high rated fodder is so low. You all, you already see them doing it, right? We had like an 88 rated squad instead of Surge and Abri, and the price of that SBC still is 150,000 coins or 160k. I'm so interested to see how they price these icon SBCs and what requirements they put in them because high rated fodder is so low and that also scares me a little bit to maybe they're like we talked about with Ronaldinho they might put in his mid version instead of the prime because it would be back in the day remember the terminology was above the threshold so hopefully there's no issues with that but all in all from just a leak standpoint and from excitement building standpoint that is sick right that is very very cool I'm excited for that because that just means more SBCs as we're opening upgrade packs and we're kind of grinding through the upgrades and we have all these other 81 plus, 84 plus, all the packs that we get, all the fodder that we get. A lot of people have been complaining and saying, I got nothing to craft into. Well, we're going to have icon SBCs coming out this next week every single day and that is legit and that could give us a lot of even cooler cards to be crafting into as long as the cards they're dropping are mostly primes and above they, they kind of have to be primes and above for all of these right i mean we would love a team of the year ronaldinho but it's it's not going to happen he's extinct at 15 mil right so we need the dynamic image versions team of the year trophy titans foot birthday those sorts of icon players in the SBCs this next week. So along with that, watch out for your La Liga special cards on this market. I'll just give one quick shout out to these cards here. Um, they're moving. They're moving up. This Llorente, oh my gosh, he was just 380K and look at him now, 419,000 coins. These guys fluctuate a lot. Some of them are down. Some of them are up. Some of them are any anywhere in between, right? So just keep an eye on the leaks for today because the leaks are also going to really start to move these cards um, if there's a Real Madrid player leak, a guy like Hazard could potentially go up, right? That uh, that Urente is going up because of that uh, Carrasco that we quickly saw there for a second. You know, other leaks from different nations, different leagues, or not leagues, but different teams and clubs could make cards move. So just be careful with your La Liga specials. We'll talk more about that in tomorrow and on Friday's videos, especially selling into the hype on some of those because La Liga specials are very, very invested in right now on this game so specifically today though especially on stream we're going to be watching the Bundesliga tots cards a lot get your fodder ready maybe buy up some 84s 85s 86s for the club i probably should go stock some 86s right now so that i can get those at a good price but also uh be able to do that sbc today for the guaranteed Bundesliga tots and we'll see if ea drop any surprises today on a wednesday as well like they drop surprises yesterday on tuesday so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up button comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been native account and catch you guys today in the stream peace